To finish the angular alignment of the rotary axis, I've added an optical end stop so that I can home this axis. And after doing the calibration procedure in the last video one more time, I can enter the fixed offset that the end stop is from the dead straight position. And so here I'm recutting the same pieces as in the last video and I'm just experimenting with some paint on top of the wood to see how that cuts. The pieces came out looking okay and compared to the previous cut the pieces line up in the center a whole lot better but the outside edges are still slightly off more on that later for now I'm just showing a slightly more intricate cut this time with five pieces some of them are a bit smaller and there's a lot more ins and outs and overall the machine handled this well but as you'll see, I'm still getting these weird alignment issues that the rest of the video will try and start to diagnose. So here it's very apparent in the bottom edge where that should be a straight line across each of them but there's this stair step effect and if we look at the final position of the final cut you can see that the blade was cutting the horizontal line behind it and once it finished it popped and went down into the groove of the piece that it already cut. One thing that I thought might be contributing to this drift was that the G-code was set up to move and rotate together, whereas the saw blade might actually want to be rotated before moving in the direction that it's about to cut. But as you can see here, the stair step effect is still there even after the G code change. So in order to test this in isolation, I'm just making a straight cut forward until the blade gets to a hole in the workpiece. And if the blade is tracking straight, then the blade won't move laterally once it enters the hole. But as you can see here, the blade snaps back to the left. You can also hear it. And in high contrast, I repeated this experiment with increasing blade angles facing more to the left to compensate for the blade wanting to drift to the right. And you can see that at minus 93 degrees, it's a very straight cut. So here I've overlaid the cut plan for these four pieces. And if we just focus on the bottom two 90 degree cuts, the first one to be made is the right hand one, which moves from top to bottom and right to left or a clockwise fashion and if the blade is getting pushed to the right side of the blade then you can see by the time it gets down to the middle bottom it'll have been pushed 
down, which is what we see, and the left cut goes from top to bottom and then left to right or counterclockwise, and the green arrow showing uh, the blade drift pushes it up. And so we should expect to get a stair step between those cuts because twice as big, because one side is drifting up and on the other it's drifting down. Funnily enough, somebody commented on the first CNC scroll saw video that I released asking how I would deal with blade drift. So Grant, you are totally right and this is a huge problem and I hope to have an answer for this soon.